I think that food is a culture and culture is very important to remember our roots. My name is uh, Richard Wong. I'm the third generation owner of Hillman Restaurant at Kitchener Road. Hillman Restaurant is actually a Chinese traditional restaurant with a local flavour. At the beginning, during the 1920s, China was uh, going through a lot of revolutions and uh, they had no jobs. At that time, my grandmother came to Singapore to look for a job as a migrant worker and she found a job as a household cook for a wealthy Chinese family. And later on, my grandfather came to Singapore to work as a chef. They met in Singapore and they got married. During the Japanese occupation, my grandfather uh, went back to China and my grandmother was uh, here alone with nine children. So in order to survive, she had to set up a roadside hawker selling roasted meat, roasted duck, rice. It was a very difficult period for her. I think she's a superwoman, you know. After the Japanese occupation, uh, my grandmother left with uh, six children because three of them didn't survive the uh, war. And uh, my grandfather came back to Singapore. And in 1963, uh, they started the first uh, Hillman restaurant with the money that she made from the roadside hawker. Okay, the dishes we serve today are happy bean curd, paper wrapped chicken, prawns in black sauce and clay pot noodles. During the 1960s, we were the first restaurant in Singapore to serve clay pot and directly cook from the pot. And the uh, clay pot dishes is a typical Cantonese dish in Canton. They like to cook during the winter time. The clay pot actually makes from clay. They have a porous wall that can retain the flavour from the dishes you cooked before. So the more you use the pot, the more seasoned it is, the more tasty the food will be. My grandfather actually mastered the cooking of the clay pot dishes in Canton during his time in China. Initially, people were skeptical of uh, serving hot clay pot food in a hot climate like Singapore. Eventually, he persevered. It proved to be successful and popular. Many years ago in China, there's a traditional dish called the beggar's chicken. Why they call it beggar's chicken? Because beggar had no food. So he stole a chicken from somebody and then he hide the chicken, wrapped it with a paper and then they will put it in the oven to bake it. But over the years, they changed it to prosperous chicken. Uh, it's found in some of the traditional dim sum restaurants as well. But we actually make it boneless and bite-sized so that it's uh, easier to eat. We will marinate with a sauce for about four hours and we wrap in a customized paper bag we make. And it's cooked over the oil. But the oil doesn't get in contact with the chicken. The chicken is juicy and the taste is retained within the paper bag and it became very popular with our customers. Happy Bean Curd, we actually make the tofu ourselves. First, we will break the eggs so that we will remove the egg yolk. Then after that, we will pour in the soya bean juice. After mixing it, we will steam it for about 30 minutes and we fry it. After frying, we will lay a minced pork with oyster sauce gravy over the tofu. For the prawns with uh, black sauce, we'll use uh, tiger prawns. At first, we'll have to deep fry the prawns so that the skin will be crispy on the outside. Then after that, we'll toast the prawns a bit on the wok. And then after that, we'll add in garlic and ginger. And we add in oyster sauce and a bit of sugar. Then after that, when it dries up, it's ready to serve. When I was younger, I studied accountancy because I like figures. I wanted to be an accountant in the first place. But after that, I found my calling and my grandmother has always talked to me, say that you know, it's very difficult for them to have this restaurant. They've been through a lot, a lot of struggles or that. It's a legacy and she hoped that we will continue the legacy. And since I'm a food lover, my grandparents left a good legacy so I think it's important that we continue. When my customers come to our restaurant, they are able to see a lot of uh, old pictures, black and white pictures, and they can feel that the history behind our restaurant. When they eat our food, I hope that they can feel the culture of uh, Chinese cooking, the local flavour that we have that is very different from the Chinese food in China and in Asian.